Now I want to talk about a really cool trick I figured out the other day. And it's uh, it takes a little time and the results are sometimes huge. I've made so many cool bases with, with this uh, weird effect lately. Um, I just want to show you how I go about it. Because um, it mainly works best on percussive bases or percussive sounds. So I'm going to just spawn. I haven't planned this tutorial at all. I'm just going to go through my sample library and pick something that's fairly rhythmical and then we'll make a bass patch out of it. Yeah, so let's go. Actually, let's be really, really cool. Let's take something that's not a bass and make a bass. I'm gonna take a loop. Nate Smith's a really cool drummer. I'm gonna take a Nate Smith one. What was this? Whatever works, I'm gonna mold it anyway. Stretch it out. I just wanna create something. That's weird. 16th per hour. I like the snare, I'm gonna remove it. Just gonna make something around the mirror. Cool. You can still hear that it's a drum. So I'm gonna see what happens if I pitch it down even more. I kind of like it, but it needs more bass. I'm just gonna add some spark to it as well. I'm gonna add some content with a saturator. This is not the trick. This is not the trick. I just wanna show you something really cool. First of all, now I have some tonal presence, but actually, that's not it. I don't want. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna go with it. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. Gonna freeze that. Whatever. Just do. Cool. Gonna make it even more percussive because that's where, just an example, you don't have to do it, but um, I just want to show you the effect of it. This is perfect. What happens? Go with that. Resample. <laughs> Do it again, because it kind of once you pitch audio, you you get rid of this transient loop thing. Now I gotta smooth it out a bit. A glue. There's my glue.
Cool. Nope. Freeze. Platin. Hate. Yeah. So, to the actual trick. Have you ever tried the corpus and basis? To create basis? That's insane. Firstly, I want to find the tonal presence of this uh, sample as it is without the corpus. And to, to check, I go to an operator to slow the sine wave. I think it's the D. Yeah, it's definitely a D, some, somehow. And turn on the corpus, and, you, and we find the D on the tune. That's close enough. I, I know there's a button you can click to just, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. There you go. Um. So now you can hear it's. It's kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, so what you can do now is to automate all these fucking parameters and just go random. Um, if we want to go, let's have a loop. Actually, let's have a loop. Fucking hell, that's hard, sorry. Serious Mr. Bill vibes out of this. That is cool as hell. So that's one thing, and you can also like animate whatever parameter you want to go. Also, uh, and like, and, uh, ultimate fucking hell. Uh, the tune, so you can go like, have uh, an example. So fucking cool. And now you can also change the different. Uh, I can even animate this if I think. I automate go. Yeah, I can.
stuff, I guess. Perfect for IDM and stuff like that. So yeah, that was just a random base thing. And then you right click, show in finding. Yeah. Hmm? Nah. You have to buy this again. Come on, Snipper. There we go. That's uh, like a really quick one. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was cool. That was made really fast. You could keep on dragging it out, tossing it and toss it into an, a sampler or whatever. Really just experiment.